So in this video, I would like to incorporate a draw at the middle and uh, I'll incorporate cabinets on both sides. So for that, I should start with a polyline uh, starting from this midpoint and I'll draw a perpendicular and uh, I'll offset this uh, to 30 centimeter on both sides because I want to give 60, centi uh, 60 centimeter as a width of the door, width of the draw. I'll select this as the object and site offset and select object to offset and site offset and I'll erase the central line and uh, I would like to divide this into four equal parts because I would like to have four rows uh, here in this. Uh, vertically, I would like to have four rows. So I'll divide this into uh, four equal parts. Okay, now I'll draw a polyline starting from this, <coughs> from this node to perpendicular. <coughs> then I'll draw a polyline and I'll copy this polyline to these node points. I'll erase these nodes, okay. Now I would like to trace a single profile here, uh, which will represent the boundary uh, for a single row. So I'll draw another polyline here, and I'll offset this polyline through a small distance, and select object to offset and side to offset, and I'll extrude this profile uh, through a small distance of say one centimeter, and uh, you can get this a small thickness. Or else you can also go for a bevel if you want, just as you have done for the cabinets. So if you want that, I'll, you can just go for extrude again. And you can go for a taper angle of uh, 60 degrees. And you can give a height of 1.5. So that will give you a bevel effect for the draw. And uh, I'll go for copy command. <coughs> and I'll go for multiple copies. So we have made that row. <coughs> now we can have uh, some handle or a knob over here to operate this draw. So we can make a handle first. Instead of a knob, I would, I, I would like to go for a handle. So uh, you have to make a profile of the circle and you have to extrude it along a path, that's all. So I'll make a profile of the circle first, but before that you have to align the UCS on this face and I'll go for a plan view, then you can draw a profile of the circle which is over here okay that is that can be an arbitrary dimension or you can give a actual dimension if you want then I'll go to UCS command and I'll rotate the UCS about X axis through minus 90 to align the UCS with the base or else you can uh, give UCS command then you can just give an enter so that it will go back to the base Okay, because this is a, a position or this is a plane of the path. Now I'll draw a polyline starting from the center. I'll, uh, I'll just move in this direction through a distance of uh, say five units and I'll move in this direction through a distance of 10 units. Then again a uh, five. Okay, then I have to uh, fillet these corners. So I'll go for fillet command, I'll give a radius, I'll give a small distance to select the radius and I'll go to polyline option, a uh, polyline option. And I'll pick this polyline to be filleted uh, to get the corners filleted simultaneously. Then I'll go for extrude and select this path, uh, se select this profile, and I'll have to go to path option and go to path option and select this path along which it has to be extruded. Now it is extruded along a path. Now you can keep this uh, particular object on a separate layer. So I'll call it as, I'll go to layer command and I'll call this layer as handle. And I'll uh, give a different color for the handle layer and um, I'll transfer this object onto the handle layer. So it has taken the properties of that layer. Now this handle is to be perfectly centralized uh, with respect to uh, this plane, this profile. So uh, for that, you can just draw another polyline starting from this center to the center, the center, and you can move the whole thing, okay, with the base point as this midpoint. When you're asked to give second point, uh, you can uh, use point filters to get that. So it will be ideal if you can align the uses on this plane before you do that. Okay, so I'll go to UCS three point I, with my origin here, X here and Y here. And I'll go to move command and I'll select this object and I'll keep the base point as this. When I'm asked to give second, you can simply use point filters, just dot X off, mid of this. I go for dot Y Z off, mid of this. Okay, so this midpoint aligns with the geometrical center of the space. You can just go for a multiple copy of the same 
uh, handle uh, this is a base point second point then you can uh, choose corresponding second points to complete the handle so this is how you make the draw now you have to uh, create two cabinets on both sides so I'll draw uh, another polyline and I'll just go for another polyline and I'll divide this to perpendicular then I'll go for a rectangle then offset this rectangle through a distance of 7 units and I'll extrude this rectangle uh, by going to a taper angle of 60 degrees and a height of 1.5 units and I'll mirror the same object onto the other side and the same uh, rectangles as well as uh, the partition line and all can be mirrored onto the other side uh, to get the uh, cabinets in the opposite direction so just go for mirror command and uh, select this as the this meet as a base point and you can just I'll repeat I'll go for mirror again and select the same set of objects and I'll select this as a base point and this as a second point of mirror line and just give an enter to get that mirrored so this is how you complete uh, the draw as well as the cabinets on both sides of the draw